Eight. It's always been the same question, and here it is, three times, 67, 93, and 98, they voted. No. The question has been, do you want to become a state? Do you want to be a state? That's the question. Pretty easy. Mm, no. Now, let me take you to Washington, D.C. Remember this question. Puerto Rico, do you want to be a state? No, three times. Now, let me take you to Washington, D.C., where tomorrow an important vote is happening. They're not asking this question, do you want to be a state? No, no, no. And this sounds so nice, I don't know how anyone could ever vote against this. This is called the Puerto Rico Democracy Act. Well, who could be against democracy? Hmm? Oh, wait a minute. Democratic. Who could be against that? Now, I've called all over Washington and... They want you to know this is a non-binding resolution. Mm -hmm. It is. It is uh, supposedly to support Puerto Rico's self-determination on whether or not if they want to be a state. Oh, well, that's, that's great. I think we have some other things, you know, that might be more important. You know what I mean? Why do we need this? That's the question I'm left with. Why do we need this? Do we need a non-binding Resolution to support self-determination. I mean, they've, they've been asked this question. They can ask it again. I mean, is there something going on in Puerto Rico that I'm not aware of? Is there something really, because, I mean, no, I'm going to help Puerto Rico if there's a problem, but uh, that doesn't seem to be a problem. Why are we taking attention away from the economy or that hard grilling of Goldman Sachs or immigration? Why? Well, my staff today made some phone calls to the Republicans in Congress who are supporting this bill. Here are the answers. This is a vote about freedom. Oh, well, don't get all technical on me. I mean, that's pretty complex. Really? How about this one? This vote does not grant Puerto Rico statehood. It simply gives Puerto Ricans the right to determine if statehood is something they would want for themselves. Gosh darn it, you Republicans. You are smart. Do you want to be a state? They can ask any time, in any election, and they have. So neither of those questions or those answers really help us on anything. It's almost like something else might be going on. But remember, they keep saying, oh, this is non-binding, non-binding, right? If I just trusted progressives, big government power and control, transformation of America, big government power and control, and democratic elections, see, democratic elections, there's always a catch. Remember I said, you know, a democratically elected Adolf Hitler. Yeah, but not so much. There always seems to be a, oh, I don't know, a trick to it. Fraud. I mean, he was democratically elected, the chancellor. But then he cobbled together a coalition that everybody said, that's ridiculous, he'd never be able to do that, and he did. And all of a sudden, Heil Hitler. Got it? There always is a trick to democratic elections. Parliamentary corruption. It's important for the progressives, especially if you're going to fundamentally transform a country, that you leave the appearance of that country. For instance, they didn't just jam health care down your throat. No, 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 no. They debated it. They did it through the democratic process. Mm-hmm. So is there a trick here? Okay, HR 2499, if this passes tomorrow, tomorrow they vote on this. If this passes, it will force a yes or no vote in Puerto Rico. Not on this question. No, 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 do you wanna be a state? No, no. If this passes tomorrow, what they're going to ask is this question. Do you want to maintain the current status of Puerto Rico? Oh, now wait a minute. That's not the same question. Why? Why? Do you want to maintain the status quo? Well, let me ask you this. Do you want to maintain the status quo of our country right now? 